compare with what statistic is and its role in pharmacy. Statistics is a very important thing for research and technology also. Students, please like, share and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Let's start our videos on basic concept in statistics. Statistics is a science and an art which deals with collection, organization, presentation, analysis and interpretation of numerical data. This simple and precise definition of statistics was given by Croxton and Cordell. According to the above definition, there are five stages in statistical investigation. Statistical investigation is a very important part of not only mathematics but also of research and science and technology. Students, statistics deals in different branches like business, research in allied science and medicine, economic and banking, mathematics, physical science, natural science, etc. Statistics helps to calculate the data very accurately and gives us a precise information about the study we have done. Students, as we have already studied in our previous slide that there are five stages of statistical investigation. So here we will uh, read one by one what are the different stages of statistical investigation. First is collection. Utmost care must be exercised in collecting data. Data collection is the most important thing while uh, doing statistical investigation. If data are faulty, the conclusion drawn can never be reliable. Second comes organization. Organization is again divided into three subtypes that is editing, classification and tabulation. Organization of data is important to get a over overall uh, view of whatever the collection we have done then presentation presentation can be represented a data can be represented in the form of either diagram or bars then comes analysis analysis is the most important step of statistical investigation the purpose of analysis of data is to dig out information useful for decision making most commonly employed method are measure of central tendency. Analysis help us by the use of right tool of analysis. We can get the desired result of the data we have collected. Then comes interpretation. The last and final stage in statistical investigation is interpretation. That is drawing conclusion from the data collected and analyzed. Interpretation is very much important because uh, if we have correctly interpreted the data, it will be the result of our research we are doing. The wrong interpreted data will lead to faulty results. Functions of statistics Statistics present fact in a definite and precise form. Statistics facilitate comparison. Statistics forecast future event and it helps in prediction. Statistics helps in formulating and testing hypotheses and it helps in the formulation of suitable policies. In research, statistics gives us reliability to rely on our research or a research methodology we have opted. Limitation of statistics Statistics do, does not study individual items but deals with aggregates. Statistic results are true on the average and in the long run. Statistic results may be misleading if tutored with context. Statistic studies only quantitative data and on spot can make proper use of this science. Students, here I am showing you a type of design experiment. What is design experiment is? Design of experiment it is concerned with the planning and conduct of experiment to analyze the resulting data so that we can uh, obtain valid and objective conclusions. Uh, the most important steps of design of experiment we can uh, study one by one. First is formulate question goals that we want to achieve in advance. Then comparison or control we should have standard. Then replication. Then comes randomization. Then comes stratification. And finally factorial design what type of design we have to 
apply on design of experiment criteria to evaluate a design experiment the design should provide as much information as possible with regard to the major objectives of the experiment for a given amount of experimental effort the design should provide some information with regard to all the experimental objectives and the design must be feasible within the working condition that exists for the experimenter students sometimes question arise in our mind that why the application is required in statistics so the application or replicate reduces the effect of uncontrolled variation and it increases the chances of precision and it also quantify the uncertainty that may arise in our experiment again a thing comes why comparison or why there is a need of standard of control so good experiment are always comparative and for example we can compare the bp of a mice fed in our salt water to the blood pressure of a mice fed in plain water this is an example that i am giving here and we can also compare the bp of a strain of mice fed with salt water to fed with same salt water we can also compare strain wise in above we were simply measuring the bp of uh, mice that were fed with plain water and salt water and here we are comparing strains two strain we are comparing ideally the experimental group is compared to concurrent control it give us to da- generate those data or those things that are that can interfere with our experiment or that are required during the uh, throughout journey of our research now again comes why randomization and what is the need of randomization in experimental design or in statistics experimental subjects or unit we can say should be assigned to treat treatment groups at random one needs to explicitly randomize using a computer coins dice or cards and randomization helps to avoid biasness for example the first six mice you grab may have intrinsically higher bp so that reduces the chances of being biased then control the role of chance and randomization also allows the later use of probability theory and so gives a solid foundation for statistical analysis students now comes stratification suppose that some bp measurement will be made in the morning and some in the afternoon and if you anticipate a difference between morning and afternoon measurement ensure that within each period there are equal number of subject in each treatment group and take account of the difference between period year of your analysis and this sometimes called as blocking it helps in to get an accurate estimation of our data so that we can put forward our statistical analysis in right direction dear students after completing all the five uh, steps of um, statistical investigation then comes the factorial design the design that we have to implement to get our data factorial design involve the comparison of the effect of two or more factors acting simultaneously on a common response or a kind criterion variable these factors which affect our research or which affect our experiment are kept in factorial design to study the effect of each and every factor on other factors as well as on the other variables there are different type of factorial designs uh, two factor three factor uh, box bank can control design there are so many type of factorial design that you can apply depending upon your necessary necessity and also depending upon the whatever the factor you are choosing and whatever type of variables are present students since we are from pharmacy or pharmaceutical sciences background the role of statistics in pharmacy is very important it helps in forecasting of finished product as per market demand in strategies made by pmd department for the promotion of their products it is also utilized by the innovators working in research and development field applied by the scholars for the completion of their proposed work 
in clinical trials to study the analysis of different variables for the optimization of the desired result in computer process from a very small level that is from office work or attendance system etc to a large scale like stock exchange employee salary calculation in banks etc so without a statistic it is very hard and it is very difficult to analyze the data on a larger scale when it is leading to quantitative calculation statistics plays an important role not only in pharmacy but in various forms of our lives so statistically very important to us so students here we come to an end of our video on statistics i hope this video will be very much informative for you we'll be back with some more videos till then stay at home stay safe and please like share and subscribe our channel for more videos thank you